assessing the damage. After a series of bombs tore through markets in Shiite neighborhoods across Baghdad, more than 70 people were killed in the blast. And while no group has claimed responsibility for the attacks, some say they are consistent with those carried out by Sunni insurgents and al-Qaeda targeting Shiite districts. Tensions between Iraq's Shiite leaders and Sunni Muslim minority are at their worst point since the U.S. military left in late 2011. A surge in violence this past April that killed more than 700 people has many worried that Iraq will return to its previously high level of sectarian violence.